he? Where is he? There he is. Not long now. Just a moment or two. at the station. Not till six, aren't we? Uh-huh. It's 25 to seven. Yeah, OK. What? Boy on the bike. He's seen too much. Get him. Hey, Kev! Finally. Sir, I can't stop! Yeah, hi to you too. Look, get me the police. Kev, what's going on? You okay? I'll tell you in a minute, all right? Yeah, is that the police? Yeah, right. I've got something really important to tell you. My name's Kevin Wilson. Um, this guy got bitten on the... Hey, Kev, don't take all day. We only got two weeks. Oh, great. There were these two men in space suits and they, and they came and they took them on a, they took them on a motorbike. Kevin, 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 Hey, what do you think you're doing? Hold on. Kev, Kev. Adam. What happened? I don't know. Kevin, Kevin, can you hear me? Excuse me, please. Kevin Wilson. I'm his aunt. Oh, yes. I got here as fast as I could. What's happening? Is he all right? Please take a seat, madam. I'm his aunt. What's happened? Where is he? This way, please. He's here for the summer with me, you see. His parents are away on holiday and I don't know how to come. He'll be all right in the end. So, 
Now, let's see if we've got this right. Your little friend was being kidnapped, was it? By two aliens out of a flying saucer. They weren't aliens. I never said that. He never actually said that they were aliens. All right, men in spacesuits. Like spacesuits. Protective clothing. Oh, this is a joke. Look, he's only telling you what happened. I'll tell you what happened. Your poor little chum came flying off his bike and cracked his skull. That's what happened. Was it you, Sonny, put him up to behaving like a maniac? Inspector, my friend's not a liar. If that's what he said he saw, that's what he saw. This is a waste of time. Oi! You go when I say you can go. All right, go on. Scram. Kids. He's in here. Thanks. <gasps> Kevin. How is he? There's no change, I'm afraid. What's happened? What on earth happened? You must be Kevin's aunt. Ruth Turner. You must be Megabyte. I'm Megabyte. This is Adam. I listen, we're really sorry about what's what... wrong with him. He's um I'm afraid he's in a coma. A coma? Well, what, what kind of a coma? I don't know. The honest truth is, it's incredible. I've never seen anything like it before. Never. This isn't tea. It's something which rhymes with tea. Hi, Amy. Hi. Hi. You're seven minutes late. Am I? Hmm. Sorry. Hi. Oh, you know me. I never complain. Well, those for me. <laughs> oh, thanks. Ah, careful. You're meant to lie still. <sighs> That'll be the day. This is such a bore. I get two weeks off a year, and on the first day, my appendix jumps up and says, hey, let's earn our holiday. <laughs> Say la vie, say la vie. Just when I think everything's going fine, gremlins pull out on the And suddenly every day is dried at the birthday. Still, you hear me coming Despite all the doom and the gloom and the disasters, I'll be back. His pulse is unbelievably slow. Just incredible. I mean, technically speaking, this boy should be... Dead? No. Look, the fact is he's not dead. Whatever this thing is, Kevin will beat it. He's a strong kid. Well, despite the nasty bump to the head, there's no cerebral rupture. That's a common cause of coma. So I think the next thing to do is... I'm going to take a sample of his blood, see if there's any kind of poison hiding in there. I'll be back in a second. He's been bitten. Excuse me, what? Kevin. Do you know him? No. So, how do you know his name? I'm sorry, did you say he was... Bitten. That's right. Yeah, he was. Bitten by what? I don't know. Something evil. On his neck. Yes, I see it now. A bee sting? No. It's not like anything I've... How do you know all these things? Where have you come from? Who are you? You're a tomorrow person. Yeah, it's true. I'm a tomorrow person. Wow, that answers everything. It does, though, doesn't it? Explain everything. The strange feelings you've been having. What strange feelings? I haven't been... Who are you guys? You felt somehow drawn to Kevin, didn't you? You know why? Because he's one of us, too. This is nuts. Yeah, but you know it's true, don't you? 
Amy, you've always felt different, as far back as you can remember. We all have. Yeah, I used to think I was going out of my mind. <laughs> oh, man, this cake's gross. Sometimes we'd hear voices. I hear voices. Feel things, sense things, know things. Aw, it has cherries in it. I hate cherries. I do feel different. It's like I, I don't belong or something. Like I'm looking at everything through a window. It scares me. Amy, don't let it scare you. You've been given a gift. You've just got to work out what it's for and how to use it. I don't understand. Let's take her to the spaceship. The spaceship? Well, yeah. I mean, once you've seen the spaceship... Yep. Thanks, Megabyte. Yep. That's just wonderful. I was trying to break it to her gently, you know, one thing at a time. Well, guys, it's been really good talking to you. See you around sometime, huh? Eat up your fruitcake. Fruitcake. Absolutely no way we can get in touch with him. I wish there was. Yes, well, nevertheless, we'll do what we can. You've been very helpful, Inspector. Thank you. Oh, um, excuse me, I'd just like to look in. Yes, uh, of course. Uh, good night, then. Good night. Good night. Good night, Kevin. I'm sorry. I know it was rude to run off like that, but I had to see someone. Someone more important than your own mother? Has someone got a name? It was nothing. It doesn't matter. It won't happen again, I promise. So, how are you? Oh, all right. They're very nice here, very nice indeed. You know, I don't care what you say about the health service, they are very committed people. They work so incredibly hard. I don't know how they stay so cheerful. And some of the patients here are so thoughtless, demanding this, demanding that. I mean, you'd think some of them were staying in some sort of five-star luxury hotel the way they carry on. I'll take the front entrance. I got the back. Wow. We'll be back. Wild. Kevin! 
What? Who? What are you talking about? Adam, they've gone. They've got him. We blew it. Will somebody, anybody, please tell me what is going on? Look, you better come with us. Yeah, just some flaming kids mucking about. Yeah, it's all over now. Yeah, I'll be home in about 15 minutes, all right? What's that? Mm, clam casserole. Yeah, sounds lovely. Yeah, me too. See you then. Bye. Rockford Police Station, Inspector Platt. He's what? Oh, I don't believe it. All right, I'll be there. <sighs> Dr. Poole, you should be lying down. Yes, yes, don't nag me, please. Nagging is my job. Ah, Inspector. Well, the plot thickens, I hear. Yes, and I'm extremely concerned about my patient. I want to know why someone wasn't assigned to guard him. You're responsible for this. Well, we're not mind readers, sir. You were told he'd been the victim of a kidnap attempt. The boy's life's in danger. Dr. Poole, sir, I wouldn't presume to tell you how to stick on a Band-Aid. So please don't lecture me, all right? Now, where are those flaming kids? I want a little word in their ears. <laughs> I don't know what to say. There's so much to take in. I mean, tomorrow, people? And Kevin mixed up in it. What does it all mean? Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> look, we've told you everything now. There's no secrets between us. Guys, this is really great, but it's not getting Kevin back, is it? Yeah, you're right. We've got to go somewhere. Where? Uh, perhaps it's better that you don't ask. Amy, we'd really like you to come with us. Will you? Sure, why not? After all this, I'm ready for anything. <laughs> what will it feel like? It's kind of like a tickle. Don't worry, it's natural. It's like breathing. You ready? We'll be back. <gasps> Excuse me, you haven't seen those kids, have you? They just popped out. It's real. Where are we? Believe it or not, we're underneath an island in the South Pacific. You don't believe me, do you? I believe you. It doesn't mean anything to you. Make any sense? I think so. I just need some time. Well, I mean, we're what you call. I know who we are. We're the future. The next stage of human evolution. Tomorrow, we bring to the world. Peace. At last. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, except for tomorrow can't come fast enough. Amy. Mean... Well. <laughs> <laughs> Likewise. Oh, it feels just like like I've come home. <laughs> uh, please sit down, Dr. Paul. <clears throat> Look, if I was offhand earlier, I apologise, all right? I've had rather a bad day. So have I, Inspector. Yes, well, maybe there was something in what you said after all. <clears throat> I'm big enough to admit I may have allowed my natural distrust for dubious information to cloud my judgement on this occasion. Very big of you. Anyway, I'm determined to get to the bottom of this. Make no mistake, quite determined. You see, my problem is those kids, the ones who seem to have mysteriously vanished off the face of the earth. Problem? How? Well, I can't get a straight answer out of them, can I? What I need are simple facts, Dr. Poole. Who's, where's, what's, why's, when's. But those blasted kids, they just will not tell me the whole story. That's why you getting hit over the head was such a piece of luck. Luck? Yes, maybe now I can get some information I can use at last. I'm so pleased for you. So, let's see if we got this right. You were in the boys' room taking a sample of blood. Correct. And then what happened? Then I got hit on the head. Yes, right, and? And what, Inspector? After you got hit on the head, then what? Then, I presume, I fell on the floor. I don't remember. I was unconscious at the time. You say you caught a glimpse of the attacker? Only out of the corner of my eye, just before I blacked out. 
There were two of them, I think. Two? Ah, descriptions? Very vague. Well, short, tall, light, dark, slim, stout, what? Women. Women? Definitely women. One of them was medium build, straight, dark reddish-brown hair, pale complexion, green eyes. Ah, that's, that's a good description. And the other one? Medium build, straight, dark reddish-brown hair, pale complexion, green eyes. Well, that's the first one. I mean, the other one. No, that was the other one. They were twins. Twins? Pretty much identical, really. This was uh, after you got hit on the head, right? What's that supposed to mean? You don't believe me? Well, after all, you were concussed. Probably seeing double. Inspector, I have patience that, to there's attend There's no to... need to be touchy, Dr Paul. After all, it is quite an unusual story. Yes, it is. Very unusual. And when you've got to the bottom of it, I'd be very interested to know what it's all about. Excuse me. Shall we do this? Yep. Do what? Well, it, it's possible if we all put our heads together. Mine merge. Yeah, we can ask the ship to help us. Try to find out what happened to Kevin, where he's gone. Will you help? Let's go for it. OK, put your hands up like this. It's OK. I know. I don't know how I know, but I know. OK. You ready? Yeah.